Hi, my name is Joe and welcome to a very short edition of Joe's Technology. As you can see, I'm sitting here at a Linux Mint login. Well, actually you probably can't tell, but... This is Linux Mint 64-bit edition. I'm running uh, version 17 and it's the KDE environment. So here comes KDE now that I've uh, logged in. Ta -da! And we have our happy KDE desktop. The purpose of this video is how do you run things in Linux Mint without a password? I know, you're, you're thinking, Joe, why would you even suggest something so horrible? Well, as it turns out, I'm an administrator for a Facebook group called, ta-da-da, you'll never see this one coming, Linux Mint. <laughs> now, don't get too excited. I'm unfortunately not part of the Linux Mint development team. I just happen to be, um, think of it as a fan of Linux Mint. Uh, Myself and the other administrators uh, happen to like Linux Mint and want to help other people learn and share uh, the things that they've learned about it so that users who are coming in out of the, the cold of you know, the Windows world, <laughs> you know, where XP has been abandoned, Windows 7 is about to be abandoned, Windows 8 is, well, a new level of hostile, and um, Linux Mint is here to welcome everybody. Uh, however, one of the things that I saw complained in the group today was one user who said, Darn it, I want to be able to use Linux Mint without a password. I live by myself. I'm not worried about security. I'm satisfied that Mint's not going to get any viruses. I just don't want to be prompted for that darn password every time I install something. And by default, Linux Mint, to its credit, uh, enforces password complexity so that when you try to perform administrative functions like, say, open the software manager to install software, ta-da, you're prompted for your administrative credentials. Now, me, I'm used to having, you know, long passwords for 20, 30 different computers. So I don't find that to be a bother at all. However, not everybody feels that way. So the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how you can get rid of that. Now, if I were to go here using the GUI, and say go to settings and system settings and scroll down here to user manager I can open this up and here are the only two user accounts uh, this computer is being set up as an HTPC uh, home theater PC so it has one account called TV that has no password so that anybody can log into the television and you know watch Netflix play Steam games or whatever um, and not have to know anything but they can't make any changes because they're not an administrator however in this case the administrative account does have a password. It doesn't show it here, but if I were to click on it and say, hey, you know, I, I want to change that password, notice it, it won't let me do that. The GUI is specifically set up to stop you from doing that. However, you can override that feature if you want to, and here's how. Note, I don't recommend doing this at all. However, if you want to, here's how. So, here we are at our, uh, uh, in this case, our console and we are going to use this command which is sudo uh, whoops here I have to type it right Blah. I, I'm sitting in the dark here and and some LEDs are out on my keyboard <laughs> so I'm remembering where the keys are sorry uh, okay here we go whoops <sighs> speaking of keys being out there we go. I have to type my, my password correctly. All right, so how do we make all those passwords go away? Again, I don't recommend this, but if you wanted to, this is our sudoers file that uh, controls the commands uh, behavior for sudo. And here, I'll just go here to this bottom line. And since I know my account is Joe that I'm using for my administrative functions, I'm going to say Joe all equals all no pass wd colon all okay and now control x and it says are you sure you want to save and i say y for yes and, and it says all right to the etsy folder uh, sudoers.tmp i enter and, and confirm that with that one change to that one file notice the difference in behavior now i click here and open the software manager And ta-da, it has opened and it has not prompted me for anything. And as a matter of fact here, we can even download something. Um, let's see. What is good today?
Oh, fooey. You know what? Um, <laughs> there's usually something good hanging around. Um, yeah, what the heck? I'll, I've already got bluefish, which was something that I wanted. And I'll just go ahead and I'll take Opera. Opera is a good little browser. And as you can see, I clicked install and it's installing and I was not prompted for any passwords. To undo what you saw me do, you would simply do the steps and reduce reverse. Uh, again, you open up the file and rather than edit that line, you delete the line that we put in. So that's how you can run Linux Mint and install software without being prompted for a password. I will still be prompted for a password when it's time to log into the computer. And if you're running updates, although it doesn't ask for it there, it will ask for it here. So here, let me click on this thing. Ah, there we go. Oh, well, I take that back. Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> this darn thing. Um, it's in a good mood, I guess. So, here, yeah, it, it'll open up even without the password there. Okay, I, I was thinking it was going to force uh, us to, to give it up, but apparently you can install all your software and all your updates with that one single command change. So enjoy, and use it if you dare.